Welcome back to the second half hour of Nightline. My <coughs> name is Nathan Bland. Uh, I am your host tonight. I tell you, uh, we've got about 30 minutes left in the program tonight. We had a, a, just a wonderful uh, first guest, Dr. Bill Westifer, and we have an awesome, two awesome uh, uh, guest in the second half here with uh, Pastor George and Linda Tompkins. Uh, they're from the Word Only Deliverance Ministry. So good to have you guys on the program tonight. It's Amen. wonderful to be here tonight. Amen. Uh, so let's let's talk about your uh, your book, uh, Pastor Linda Tompkins, uh, personal testimony, test before promise. Yeah. So tell us uh, a little bit about your book. Actually, that book was written in 2008. Um, I accomplished some goals in the year of 2008. So I had started to write the book and then I put the book down. So the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said it was time for me to complete the book. So I completed that book. Um, in that book, it has so much that a whole family can get out of the book. Um, what's in there so important to me is um, fight for your children. Yes. Don't give up on your marriage because we have a lot of fallen marriages, mm. um, not just in the church, but outside of the church. So it's some points in there to help you stay focused concerning your marriage. Amen. And also um, that book, it tells you to um, don't give up on your children. Mm. Many people are not praying for right. their children and a lot of them just giving up on them because of a lot of failures that they have completed in their lives. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm not one that is a stranger to failure. I've failed many times, you know. Yes. Uh, thankfully, God had a purpose for me. Yes. And He didn't give up on me. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, your, your testimony, and what God's brought you through. Well, one thing, the, well, I'm Pastor George, Pastor Linda Tom, because we're a deliverance ministry. We're here in Greenville, South Carolina. We first of all want to just thank Apostle Stacy Glover. Uh, the reason we're here on here today is that he set this up for us. After We've been pastoring 11 years here in Greenville, yes. South Carolina. We was at 2000 B. Piedmont Highway. Uh, we was under a rental building, and this last storm that came about flooded our building out after 11 years. Yes. It flooded out so bad that the, uh, the mildew in it was so, we had, Restoration group come in. They said that we couldn't have any more church in that building. Yeah. So at the present time, where we at is that we're in a hotel room, and we're here to announce that we're having a benefit uh, service on the 14th Saturday. Uh, we thank God for uh, Pastor Dogan and uh, Long Branch uh, Baptist Church in Greenville, South on 28th Boat Street is going to have a benefit service for us. Uh, for our church, our congregation. Sometimes people don't understand how much when you lose a building or ministry has to move, the financial stress it puts mm. on us. Yes. For one, we went into a rental metal building. We built that building up. We built a classroom. We built an office space. We put carpet in on the floor. We built a studio booth. We built a uh, pulpit. All that, we had to get rid of all of that. Every mm. last bit of that is gone after 11 years of ministry. And so Apostle, Apostle Stacy Glover and a, a great panel of people have put on a benefit service for us this Saturday at 6 p.m. at Long Beach Baptist Church in Greenville, South Carolina. But the World Deliverance Ministry is what it is. A lot of times people don't know what a ministry is. But if you know what United Ministry is, you know what uh, Miracle Hill, Red Cross, and all those things, what a ministry is is this. We've been in Greenville for 11 years when God called us, as Pastor Bill was talking earlier, you have to be called. Yes, sir. And even in this here, we have pastors who also, and we told him, we asked, he said, Pastor George, I want to know, what are you hearing God say after the building got flooded out? And only Romans 8 and 28 could come to my heart. For all things work to good for them that love God, and then we're called oh, according to his God. purpose. And then he said, well, my call is this. Me and my church will be praying that your people walk into the newness. Mm. So we're believing that this is a newness of God. And my 25 years of being saved, and me and my wife both come from addiction. Yes. You're looking at a person who was facing 125 years in prison. Mm. Got in the first week and met Jesus Christ. Amen. Grew up in church, but I never knew him. Only when I picked the Bible up in a cell, and I read the four Gospels. 
I met Jesus for the first time in 32 years. Oh, my years. God. Yes, Lord. It's been 25 years since he delivered me from crack cocaine. Amen. Facing 125 years in prison. $80,000 behind in child support. I received four, 15 years and a $45,000 fine, which I'm paying on now. I can go into testimonies and what God has blessed me and where the fine is at now. And the child support was 80. Now it's only 6,000. Praise God. And only God can do that. Mm -hmm. Amen. So our ministry is we're doing so many things in District 25 of Greenville, South Carolina to help people mm -hmm. in so many ways through marriages and restore relationship with mothers and daughters and helping them come off the governmental system mm -hmm. to become entrepreneurs. Yes. Oh also God. learning some for the first time how to set a budget. Many couples don't wonder why. They can't enjoy vacation with their children. Uh, husband can't buy the wife certain things because you don't understand. As we begin to show them what a budget is, we show them how much debt you're in hold mm -hmm. each month. Yes. You know, and where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. And so we thank God for it. And our testimonies are just, uh, just a part of it. And so that's what the whole benefit is about. They want, They knew that. When you move from one building to go to another, it's going to take a down deposit on this. It's going to mm -hmm. take a down deposit on that. We've got we wherever we may, we may have to do some renting and renovating and bring it back up. Mm -hmm. And so, Pastor, Apostle Stacy Glover and that panel are putting on this benefit for us, and we just thank God for them wanting to take that stress off of us as pastors. Amen. Oh, I, you know, I love your transparency. I've I've told the, the people on here as well as our congregation. They know. <laughs> yeah. Where I come from, because I had I had got into selling drugs, Amen. and I mean I was I was selling uh, had enough drugs to, in ecstasy Amen. and methamphetamine where but I would have been in jail for a long but long God. time, and God he he kept me. Yeah. Now I, I had friends who got arrested, right. and I remember no knew I knew they got arrested, and then all of a sudden their phones calling me, and I'm yeah. answering saying I don't know what you're talking about, you know, and I it was just you know the Bible yes. says God will show mercy on whom He show mercy. Yes. And, I, you know, I, I'm just so thankful, you know, yes. for what he has brought me, brought me through. And the only reason why I, I, I sold drugs and I drank and I did all those things is because yes. I didn't know what else I should be doing. Yes. But God had a purpose for me, just like yes. he had one for you. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, um, I, I I'm, I'm with you on the scripture because anytime something happens, yes, the Bible says, everything. Yeah. I know sometimes people say everything. Like they'll say, I'm going to give you everything. And you're thinking, you can give me about 70% of your time or 70%. Yes. <laughs> but when God says everything, he really means everything. Yeah. Everything works for the good to them that love the Lord. You know, I remember yeah. hearing uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Monroe, uh, one time he said, you know, if he comes home and his house is on fire, he says, well, I guess God's getting ready to give me a bigger one. Amen. Amen. You know, and that's yes. the way we look. Everything works for the good. You have to see it that yes. way as if well, where we're at now, God showed me, and I tell my church, I said, listen, every trial and tribulation that I've ever gone through since I've been born again, mm -hmm. it always oh my God. was for my good. Amen. It has it's never, Lord. so his it's record God. shows, no matter what I go through, it's always for my good. Yes. And that's what I stand on to the point, and I tell him, I said, listen, if I let a situation bother me, then I don't believe God is in control. Amen. 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 So I can't. Mm -hmm. uh, Nothing you want to share your testimony? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. I am so excited Amen. to be on tonight because we serve a good God. Amen. He is so, Jehovah Jireh. He's yes, Jehovah yes. Nisi, Elohim, yes. El Shaddai. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is Jehovah Rapha. Rapha. Yes. So I begin mm -hmm. to thank God on the goodness of Jesus and how God brought me out. Yes. Because I know only God was the one that brought me out of the situations that I got myself in. Yes. You know, many of us blame everybody else for what somebody else told them to do. Yeah. But ourself has caused us to get in a whole lot mm -hmm. of bad situations and caused us to get do some bad things that... We can't blame nobody but ourselves. Yes. So I just thank God for delivering me and setting me free yes. from crack cocaine. I thank God. Oh, I'm just so excited how God, because not only that God set me free, but God delivered me yes. in the mix of all of that. Yes, and sir. I thank and praise God because when I got on drugs, I got so chronic, um, couldn't take 
couldn't get my kids up to go to school, yes. lost everything, yeah, right. got put, evicted out of my house, yes. um, couldn't keep food in the refrigerator, um, couldn't, used to sell my EBT card, my food stamps, yes. and, and all of that just to get the drugs. Mm -hmm. And I just thank and praise God, it's been 26 mm -hmm. years oh, six clean years. and set free Amen. from any type of drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't drink wine, yeah. I don't smoke cigarettes, yeah. I don't have no withdrawals, I don't yeah. have no desire. See, one thing about God, when God delivers you, yeah. mm -hmm. he does a complete <laughs> job. Amen. There's nothing slack in Jesus Christ. God, God will, will set you free. Yes. And he will set you free from your own self. Oh, yes, so I thank and praise God. Um, it's been 26 years that God set me free. Um, and I'm so excited. I feel good. And, and, and God gave me a ministry in 2008 that was birthed out of me was Women of Destiny. Mm -hmm. And the women, women of destiny is a is a women's ministry that's been designed by God to pour into all of God's daughters. Yes. I have such a passion to see people saved, set free, and delivered. Yes. Wherever I go, I'm talking to somebody about Jesus. Amen. And if I can pull them over to the side and begin to pray with them and give them a word of encouragement, yes. that's what I do. Amen. Because I feel like when God set me free, he wanted me to go out and reach somebody else. Amen. 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 I, I tell you, we've got about a minute before we're going to be going to a song here. Um, I, we're going to be coming back, and I want to talk a little bit about what has recently happened with your church. Right. Um, really quick, can and we'll, we'll go over this again, but can you tell everyone at home about the benefit and where it's at? Okay. Yes. yes. It's, it's uh, Dominion 2020. Apostle Stacy Glover is putting this on at Long Branch Baptist Church. The address is 28 Bolt Street in Greenville, South Carolina. And it'll be 6 p.m. this Saturday, March the 14th. And uh, the benefits and everything in it will go toward our ministry and our church to help us for whenever God opens another door for us or whatever the building, whatever we may need it for. We're currently right now having church on uh, a residence in Marriott, behind Cracker Bell off of Woodruff Road. We have that on Sundays, and uh, we're there, and we're just enjoying it mm -hmm. because we know our God will not fail us. Amen. And so we want everyone that can and will, God puts on your heart. We also have a cash app. If, if anyone wants to cash app, you won't be able to make it. You can do it also. I think we have that. You have that here. Uh, I think it says uh, cash app Pastor Linda T. T, yes. And... Uh, um, dollar we, sign, we, Pastor Linda T. Yeah, pa dollar sign, Pastor Linda T. Okay. And we just thank everyone. Uh, we've been out of that build, our building now about uh, four weeks. And many people have already begun to sow into us and helping us, and we thank God for it. We have some offerings, and we've, we, we're just waiting on God. Mm -hmm. We're yes. trusting God. Oh we don't want to get before, yes. ahead of him. We want to do exactly what he wants us to do. Amen. We're going to be coming right back uh, to, to talk with uh, Pastor George and Linda Tompkins. Right now we're going to uh, go to Keith Wonderboy Johnson with our final song of the night, Keep Pushing. Keep pushing. You're feeling down and out at the seem to be working. Tired from two jobs and your body still ain't hurting. You feel like there's no help, no help at all. You feel like the best ain't good enough, but you got, you got to stand tall. Don't give up, don't give in. You gotta keep on pushing. Oh, you feel it down and out, and nothing seems to be working. Tired from two jobs and your body still ain't hurting. You feel no help at all. You feel like the best ain't good enough, but you got, you got to stand tall. Don't give up. Don't give in. You got to keep on pushing. I'm about to warm up a little bit. I, come on, come on, clap them hands. Come on, clap the hands. Come on, clap the hands. The ghost looking at me right now. Come on, clap those hands. Come on, the clap those hands. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Don't give up. Don't give in. You got to keep on pushing. Oh, you feel it 
down and out. And they seem to be working. Tired from two jobs. And your body's steady hurting. You feel like there's no help. No help at all. You feel like your best ain't good enough. But you got to, got to stand tall. Don't give up. Don't give in. You got to keep on pushing. Remember, don't give up. Don't give in. You got to keep on pushing. No matter what you're doing, don't give up. Don't give in. You keep on pushing. My feet getting light. I feel like dancing. Ow! Well, I keep turning the track up a little bit. I feel like dancing. Ow! Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Remember, don't give up. Don't give in. Keep on pushing. Yeah. Ow! Don't you give up. But don't you throw in the towel. Keep the faith every day. That blessing is off the way. Yeah. Hey. You got to, got to, got to keep on pushing. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep on pushing. Remember that told you. Don't you give up. But don't you go in the towel. Keep on, keep on going. Get up off that couch. Go and get your resume together. Put that application in and go and get that job. You can achieve if you believe. So you got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to keep on pushing. You got to keep on pushing. Don't you give up. Praise God, and that's Keith Wonderboy Johnson. We've really enjoyed this uh, music tonight. Yes. Um, I tell you, uh, we're, we're sitting here talking with Pastor George and Linda Tompkins. They uh, just a few weeks ago, when we had all that flooding, they uh, they lost the church that they've been in and been pastoring for 11 years. And uh, right now, they said they're uh, at a hotel right off of uh, Residence Inn, right mm -hmm. off of Woodruff Road near the Cracker Barrel. Yes. And having service there, they're going to be having an event that's coming up soon. And they're just trusting God. God is, you know, uh, he gave us a scripture, Romans 8, that uh, all, thing. all things work together for, for the good to them that love the Lord and mm -hmm. who are called according to his purpose. Amen. You know, every single, I always say, every single word in, in that book, in that Bible is is powerful. Yes. You know, the Bible says that God watches over his word, yes. his word to perform yes. it in the yes. earth. Yes, you, know, one, you know, a lot of times people don't realize this, but one of the most time-consuming things of any lawyer is actually looking in the annotated version of the U.S. Code. They're looking for precedent. They're looking yes, for cases that have yes, happened sir. before to find something mm. to pull out of there to say this is what how this law was established. Good we man. have a book a Bible that is God's word, oh my that God. is a, a word of precedent. <laughs> yes. And all we have to do is go to it. And it's not our word. Amen. You know, it's funny because even if a judge doesn't like a lawyer, if that lawyer has precedent, he can yes. stand there and say, this is what this case was. I Amen. have precedent. And if that judge doesn't like the lawyer, there's nothing he can do. He just has to say, I don't really like you, <laughs> but that is what the he law is. And so we've got the word of God and the Bible says that he watches over his word to yes. form it in the earth. Amen. And sometimes I just come to God and say, God, your word is powerful. I'm just going to call on one of those things you said you can you do said. exceedingly. Amen. And sometimes Amen. I just have to say one word sometimes, yes, exceedingly, Amen. abundantly, <laughs> above Ball. anything, Amen. anything I can ask or imagine. Amen. Yes. Amen. And so... Uh, uh, pastors, I'm just, I, I'm just praying with you and agreeing with you. God Amen. is just going to uh, give an outpouring to you guys. Yes, and it, Lord. it has to be better. It yes. has to be. Yes. If it's, it, whether it's bigger, whether it's better, whether the location, Amen. something good has Amen. to come out of this. What you, know? you say? Amen. Absolutely. That's it. <laughs> God <laughs> said something good is coming Amen. out of this. Absolutely. That is it's confirmation. Amen. Yes. I, trust, I trust his word. Amen. Amen. Yes. So let's uh, talk. Uh, a little bit about your book, uh, Test Before Promise. You said you wrote this in 2008. How, how did you begin to start thinking about this book and you wanted to write it? Well, well, I had a pastor that I was up under. His name is Apostle Ronna Phillips. He really was a pusher. And he told all of his 
um, we was I was a minister up under him. So he encouraged all of us. Yes. That we should write a book. He would push us. So he was one of the ones in my life. And still, if he see me, he's still pushing. So I thank God for Apostle um, Ronald Phillips. And when I wrote the book, I told him, I said, well, I've clicked, I have completed the book. Right. So he told me, he said, I want you to send me everything. He said, I'm going to get the book published. So I sent him pieces of papers. just, And he put the book together. <laughs> and the name of the book was, after he read the book, he said, the book should be, my personal testimony. So I said, okay, because I was excited. Amen. And that was in 2008. So after he published, published the book, um, about two years ago, um, the Lord pressed in my heart to get the book revised. So I got past Apostle Gerald and Pastor Kelly Williams to revise the book, to test before promise. Mm -hmm. So I am just so excited about that book because I'm telling you, you can sit down at the table, get you a good cup of coffee, <laughs> and you can have daily <laughs> devotional with this book. Amen. I'm telling you, when you begin to open the book, mm -hmm. you will not put the book down. Yes. It's going to captivate your attention mm -hmm. when you begin to read the book. Amen. So. so how can someone get a hold of this book? You can get that book on Amazon, iBook, and Kindle, Amazon, iBook, and Kindle. Test before promise. Test, Test before, before promise. promise. Yes. Linda Tompkins. Yes. Uh, Pastor George, tell us. Uh, I know you're currently at Residence Inn right now. Uh, what's what subject has God had you on here lately? What has He been pressing on your heart? <laughs> well, I'm in a series right now. One thing we we were doing. I'm sure. Sometimes, sometimes we we don't understand why God do certain things. Yes. But I was I was. I, I was sitting, I was saying, we have Facebook, Tuesday night Bible study on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We go from a few members to over 1,500 on Tuesday night. So we were utilizing our building really only four days out of a month. That was Sundays. And I said, now what good company would rent a building for four days out of a month? Amen. And like you were saying, where God got us at right now, and I thank God for the word on deliverance ministry, because I've told them, I said, look, God is saying to us, and, and coming to a building fund, if we be faithful, mm -hmm. the blessings come. And in this transition, he wants us to be faithful. Yes. And in our faithfulness, the blessings comes when God knows we'll be we're being faithful. And so in our, con our congregation right now, us coming together, we understand that this is not something to harm us. Mm -hmm. This is something for our good. Amen. God said he know the thoughts in Jeremiah 29 that he have toward us. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is to give us hope and to give us an expected end. So through this, and we're just enjoying God, what we're doing right now. And having faithful members who believe in their pastor, Yes, mm -hmm. oh and my his God. vision yes, and Lord. his mission. Yes, is the greatest thing in any trial and any test you go through. Yes, Lord. Because me and Pastor London need our members. Yes. Mm -hmm. In this, like uh, Dr. Bill was talking earlier and talking about, you know, many people don't understand the stress that come on pastors. Mm -hmm. Yes. But when you've got friends like Apostle Glover and those who are willing to say, hey. We are here to help you through this. And members yes. who are saying, Pastor, no matter what we go through. I got your back. We're going through it together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And over the 11 years of seeing babies being dedicated, baptism, husbands and wives relationship restored. Marriages. Couples understanding how important it is to be married and not shacking together or yes. cohabitating. Fathers are not in their children's son's life, I had to realize something. I came out of a uh, fatherless home. And my father left my mom oh my to God. raise eight children in Mississippi, Gulf of Mississippi, where I'm from. I grew up in the projects. I had a coach who stepped in and been that mentor to me. Oh my God. And I, I realized that when there's not a father in the home, it affects the daughter mm -hmm. and the son. Mm -hmm. Yes. For this reason. A son has to look to his father to see who he is really supposed to be. Amen. 
And a daughter has to look to her father to find out what kind of husband. Amen. Yes. By the way, he treats his mother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Her mother, his mother. And this is a reflection of it. So in our ministry, we're giving single parents that hope. But not only that, we're explaining to the sons and the daughters mm -hmm. what situation you're in and how the curse can be broken. Yes. Amen. And so we thank God for the faithful members that we have. We're not a large church, but we're a faithful, strong church. You know, I tell you, I just, uh, the whole time you've been talking, the Spirit of God just keeps coming to me and keeps Amen. coming to me that uh, uh, all of this has, he's allowed all this to happen so that he can set you up for blessings yes. to overtake yes. you. Yes. I just keep hearing that, that blessings Amen. are getting ready to overtake you. Yes. And so I, I just, uh, I agree with that word you, that God, God is speaking and <laughs> I, I'm praying for this abundance, Amen. you know. I mean, he can, imagine, imagine what, what God could do. Greater things. And imagine how, what he could provide. Yes. And no matter, he says, no matter how big you can imagine, he yes. said he can do above, above that. what you can even imagine. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> we want to think about it logically, but if we think about it in the kingdom, it's, like, <laughs> it's more, it's bigger. Yes. And you said something, Pastor um, Nathan. You asked us, you said, what sermons are we mm -hmm. preaching mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. Well, God got us in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. Pastor George, he started in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. So this past Sunday, I had to preach, mm -hmm. and God had us in the book of Revelation. And my subject um, this Sunday was, I was talking about the seven churches, mm -hmm. you know, and to let people understand that, you know, each, um, church. each church, but it was only one that was faithful. Mm -hmm. But the other six, they had the loveless church, they had the... Um, Large they had the um, financial, the financial church, mm -hmm. and they had so many. It was, and one church stood out to me mm -hmm. was that compromising church. Oh yeah, we don't. Want you know to how you that. want, you know how people compromise <laughs> mm -hmm. just to keep you a membership. Yes, They're mm -hmm. compromised yes. and let anything go on. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, don't want that. What yeah. you say? <laughs> and then I was thinking about that other church. That church, We're in the, the last few seconds. I, I just want to mention yeah, one more time as we go off the air yes. that uh, you guys uh, join Pastor and George and Linda Tompkins. Where is it at again? We're at 28 Bolt, Bolt Street, Street. Bolt Street. In Greenville, South Greenville, Carolina. South Carolina. Pray March that you can, 14th. March 14th. Pray you can join them. Reach out to them at the cash app. Money sign, Pastor Linda T. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for being on the show. Thank you for watching. God bless you. We'll be praying over these as we go off the air. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God.